the first sign that any doll has been kneaded enough is that the surface is nice and smooth. Many people say this and I agree with it, kind of at least. It's not always necessary and I will show you in a minute. This sign has been included in virtually every single list out there. On my list has three elements, some have four and some have five, but I think that this is a staple, really. The second sign, our sense of touch suggests it. The dough doesn't feel sticky anymore. And again, you are about to see what I mean, including a possible exception. To introduce the third sign, I had to remind you that kneading serves an important purpose, that is to build gluten, the macroprotein that structures itself into a beautiful network that traps the gas produced by the yeast during the fermentation. And this is what makes the dough actually rise. But why am I saying this? Because the third sign that you have needed enough is a little test to this network. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you will find it quite familiar. <laughs> you know, I do it very often because I like how it sounds and because it's very effective. And overall, I think that's the most important. To be completely honest with you guys, I think that this is the only one you really need, but it's up to you to decide whether you agree or not in the end and just a pizza yolo in a pizza school, right? Now, let me show what I had just described. I will quickly make a little dough so I will also have the opportunity to show you how it looks when it's not fully needed yet, how it behaves. I am moving to the table now. In the meantime, please hit the thumbs up. I'm going to make a small focaccia for my dinner, but I will speed things up now because this is not a recipe video and I need to arrive quickly to a juicy part. <laughs> Oh wait, uh, now I, I am sure that I don't have to tell you that at this point the dough is not needed enough. It's not even a dough yet, it's just a shapeless thing, it breaks down. So before it becomes at the very least a single co cohesive mess, I, I don't even think about testing it. Okay, the dough came together now, you see it's a nice ball, uh, so it's time to test it and look for the three signs I had described. I'll go through the list backwards and start from the last one, it's the poke test. We gently push the surface with a finger and see what happens. If it bounces back, then the dough has been kneaded enough, otherwise if a trace remains then we need more work. I see that there is a trace, it bounces back just a little, but a trace remained. The second sign is the sticky feel of the dough. If I touch it here, here and there, I can tell it's still here. And especially if I go underneath, it's easy to see that it's really sticky. And finally, the dough definitely doesn't look Nice and smooth, so it's pretty clear that we have to continue. Meep, meep. Okay, after a while, I can tell that the dough is needed enough. It's time to look again for the three signs we mentioned from the start. First of all, the poke test. You see, it just springs back to its original position. Then, what about the stickiness? It's not there, my hand is clean. And finally, does this look nice and smooth? Well, I will say that it's not perfectly smooth, like a baby's bum, you know, because if you notice here, there are a little imperfections, so to speak, but this is not a problem for me at the moment. It's pretty hard to get it nice and smooth in the very moment you stop kneading. We can just conclude that this is not probably an extremely relevant sign. However, if we want our dough to be nice and smooth, we can just leave it rest for a minute, a couple of minutes, covered, and then we just manipulate it a little bit. Okay, after a couple of minutes, 
I can manipulate this dough, make it nice and round. And as you can see, this time is nice and smooth. 